New tonight, a better understanding of what could happen when students go back to school in the fall. We know the school year will look unlike any before. Depending on the coronavirus metrics, students may end up learning from home part time or completely. WCNC Charlotte's Lana Harris has more on the North Carolina Department of Public Instruction's three pronged approach just released today. So if all is well with the coronavirus metrics, students will be able to learn at school with added safety precautions. If they are not, students may only be allowed in the building on alternating days, alternating weeks, or not at all. COVID-19 is still out there. How do we get students back into school as safely as possible? It's a question North Carolina Superintendent of Public Instruction Mark Johnson says school districts now have more guidance on, with the department releasing three possible scenarios of what the next school year could look like. The governor will pick Plan A, Plan B, or Plan C. Plan A would be closest to normal, with all students allowed in the building with social distancing in hallways and cafeterias and daily temperature checks. You'll have a little more leeway uh, to make sure we can actually get all the students into a classroom uh, and space them out, even if it's not exactly six feet apart. Plan B requires six feet apart, which is a critical difference. Because we only have so much space, that limits how many students you can put into a school building. That means with Plan B, schools and buses would only operate at 50% capacity and students would only be allowed in the building on an alternating basis, otherwise learning online at home. For Plan C, learning would be completely from home. We hope we don't get there. It's basically back to what we had to do in March. But if they do, Johnson says they will be better prepared for it. The switch to remote learning overnight, it did not go well. And we're actually using some of the federal relief dollars to make sure we do improve remote learning. Now I asked Johnson what about the families who cannot stay home with their students and he says that they are looking into strategies to help them and will have accommodations for students and teachers who just don't feel comfortable returning at all. In Uptown, I'm Lana Harris, WCNC Charlotte.